Hello there. So if you clicked on this video you either want to start a successful K-pop YouTube channel or you are a small channel like me that wants to get tips. Well fear no more because I will give you guys all the tips to make a good YouTube channel. Of course you don't have to listen to me do whatever you want. But I think I've been in this field longer enough to know what I'm saying. Okay as I always say enough rambling and on to the video. The first step to setting up a successful YouTube channel is of course choose a suitable Google email that is compatible for you. Before you even think about posting videos you must choose a nice picture and banner. For your picture make it a close up of your fave idol or really whatever you want but make sure the banner and profile color coordinate together. As for your username. Don't make it stereotypical make it something that sounds good to you and of course make it unique. Like my name Uahage. I chose it when I was well in my eyes one phase. Do I regret it? 50-50. But do I think it's unique? Sure. Then once you've done your decorating you have to start planning out your content. Your content is what defines you and your channel and should be your number one priority with a YouTube channel. If you don't like your content then it's obvious you're doing something wrong. You should always keep your videos based on one thing. You cannot start posting about K-pop one day and then start posting about anime the next. And you can't start posting about commentary videos and then just move on to text videos. That's a no-no. Consistency is what makes channels different and unique to each other. Of course you can post whatever you want but if you really wanna gain subscribers you need to think about what kind of audience you're trying to gather. The next step to starting a channel is the famous intros and outros. This isn't really necessary but I believe you can become more memorable if you have these in your videos. Intros and outros shouldn't take up too much time especially the intro. 15 seconds at the max and your outro should just be short with end cards at the end to keep people still watching at the end. Make your intro pretty. You don't even have to make it yourself Lumeo. There are plenty free intros to use on YouTube but I suggest making your own as it's more memorable. All you have to do is get your favorite clips add a filter and a non-copyrighted instrumental and voila there's an intro. In fact you can have this one. You're welcome. Just make sure you have something that defines you. Another pet peeve of mine is that you shouldn't let your intros get copyrighted. It doesn't make sense for an intro to affect the whole video. So if this happens I advise you to find a new instrumental or just remove the intro permanently. The next level of a YouTube channel is the motion. This is getting used to editing and having a platform. I made a mistake of just jumping into editing without actually learning it first so that's why I advise you to take your time and learn. For editing I only really have experiences with a few apps but I would say that the best app for phone editing are CapCut, VLLO, Video Leap and iMovie. I'm sure there are many more but these are the few I have experience with and I can assure you have good ending results. I do have a laptop to use but editing K-pop commentary on a laptop is just way too much stress. But if you are I know that some apps people use are Filmora, iMovie on laptop and VSDC. Do what I'm doing experiment with your editing styles until you find the one that works for you. Next up we have thumbnails and descriptions. Thumbnails are actually very important. Without a thumbnail no one would bother to click on your video. Make your thumbnail have bright colors and a decent font. Arial bold italic to be precise. Soon enough you will have your own thumbnail style whether it be different fonts drawings and outlines you will find your thumbnail style. Most of my thumbnail inspiration comes from the KTuber Soul Geology. In fact my whole channel is inspired by him. Noticed how I said inspired not copied. I'm sure you can interpret that. The app I use for all my thumbnails and really like is an app called Rimini. It's an app that allows you to clear your photos and raise the quality from when you have took a screenshot from the internet. It can also do videos and paint over pictures. It's really cool and I highly suggest you checking it out. I also use over to crop my picture to 1280 by 720 which is the YouTube thumbnail size that is very important for a good thumbnail. And lastly for text I use Fonto it's a bit long to explain so why don't I show you.
I also use PixArt which I also highly recommend. So make sure your thumbnails have a constant theme running through them and make sure you like them. As for your descriptions maybe I am not the one to ask about descriptions as mine are you know but in your description I recommend you to be friendly in them and say like hope you enjoyed. You don't need to put your whole life story and birth certificate in the description just something short and cute that describes your video. I highly recommend you to put tags into your first video. But here's a mistake many people tend to make. You don't need to add millions of tags. Just tags that relate to your video. Say if I made a video ranking BTS's title tracks I wouldn't put a hashtag twice in the description. Your tags have to relate so like hashtag kpop kpop video kpop commentary and your channel and video name that's it really. Unless the video is about a specific group. Next up is consistency with a channel and video ideas. Well when you start to gain a decent amount of views sometimes your consistency starts to drop. You should have a timetable that allows you to upload videos freely. You shouldn't upload every day and you also shouldn't upload once a month. It needs to be spaced out. I would say at least a video a week. But this is really based on the individual running the YouTube channel. If you do find yourself stressed like how I used to feel you either need to change your schedule or just take a break. Of course KTube shouldn't be your first priority. Get off your phone sometimes and talk to your family. If you do have problems at home just stop uploading. It's okay to take a break. As soon as you have a schedule you won't even need to use it anymore and you will just find it so much easier to make videos. Videos should come from the heart. I edit because I genuinely enjoy making videos so you need to find a reason to keep on uploading. As for your video ideas make them unique make them funny. I can guarantee you videos with different titles and original ideas always gain more attraction. As you become more memorable if someone does the idea after you. Make your videos unique don't always follow the trends. Make your own. The next step of a YouTube channel is of course getting bigger. As soon as you get recognized for your talent at editing you should think about opening a social media platform to further promote your channel. I recommend Instagram the most. Interact with other KTubers and trust me you will gain recognition. This is where widening your name comes in. Do collabs. Make friends and share your videos. This is also where something we have been taught for the whole of our lives comes in. Internet safety. I assume most people watching are aware of internet safety and how to protect yourself online. If you are really not comfortable with sharing your name and age then don't. It doesn't matter. Always make sure you don't cross the line with the online friendships though. You never know who is hiding behind the picture of an idol. Anyway I think most people in the KTube community respect boundaries but you just have to be careful. Once you've done all these things you're just about set to become bigger but going viral is something that really helps. I remember seeing people that literally gain 1k subs in a week all because of one viral video. Having a viral video is actually really random. You just have to get lucky in the YouTube algorithm. Of course this viral video brings people to your channel but that doesn't mean they are going to stay. So you just have to make sure your channel gives off a good reputation even after your viral video. The next and last step to a YouTube channel is well the big thing. I wouldn't say I'm here right now but I am getting there. The big thing is when you can start thinking about stuff like monetization. So when you have hit 1000 subscribers and have gained 4000 hours in total for watch time you're finally eligible to join. I heard many people find it hard to get monetized because of all the copyright claims KTubers get but ultimately all you can do is keep trying. I'm quite sure most KTubers don't make much at all. The money is honestly just a bonus for the hard work. If you do manage to get in you shouldn't change your mentality and just be in for the money. You need to still put in the same amount of effort. I'm no close to monetization yet but I have no doubt that I will get there. When I hit 1000 subs I don't think I would apply for it straight away. Wait a little. Don't look desperate. I would wait to see if my channel continues to grow then I will try monetization. Let's say you're a big KTuber now. Well done. Staying relevant in the KTube community is something that isn't easy. If you can't impress people when you have a big platform all your fans will forget about you and move on. Staying relevant can't really be changed by anything really. It just happens. The old generation of KTubers have moved on with their lives or are posting less. This is mostly because they are losing their relevance. 
I do have K-tubers in mind but I'm not gonna say anything as I don't want to get cancelled. There are few K-tubers that are ruling now. I'm sure you know them. But when the time comes they will be finished. They will lose their relevancy and the new generation will come in. And I'm hoping I'll get to join it. Overall you need to keep your viewers interested in you and your content. At the end of all these points the most important thing about running a YouTube channel is your passion and how much you love K-pop. I sometimes have times when I just want to make videos and do nothing else. You should never give up on reaching your dreams of becoming a big K-tuber. It can happen if you just keep working hard. Subscribers can't just come flying through the roof. You have to work for it. It's like a job. The more effort you put in the more adoration and recognition you receive back. A wise person once said a hobby becomes boring and stressful when it becomes a job. So overall just enjoy yourself. Okay guys those were all my tips. This video was based off my experience with the KTube community. I believe this is a very watered down version of the real guide though. If you really want an in-depth explanation I suggest watching Axie Stan's videos on this topic. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. And if you have any questions feel free to DM me on Instagram. It's called Uahage YT. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.